Hey Tankers and welcome back to World of Tanks with PR154 where today we are following the doctor of the Lebeau clan in the tier 9 Swedish heavy tank, the ML2. We are on the Abbey map. Um, now you've probably seen a lot of these running around in the last month. That's because the Kranvan has been on track and so there's uh, been all sorts of bonuses to assist your grind on uh, the, towards the Kranvan and covering all of the vehicles leading up to it. Uh, so... I believe um, I believe that promotion ends on the uh, the date of publication of this video, actually. So um, uh, I guess if you're uh, a, bit, a little bit sick and tired of seeing so many uh, meals and 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 crown vans running around, uh, you might get uh, a bit a bit of a a bit of a breather from it. Um, I mean, the, the crown van became a, quite a popular vehicle uh, after its. Um, potential in the last series of ranked battles was was revealed um and i guess the emil 2 is is a baby cranvan in, in a lot of respects played from a hull down position uh you end up with an effective turret armor of about 475 millimeters very very difficult to get through i did wonder as to why the emil had chosen this flank to set up with all that hull down ability um uh, but I, I guess we can we can sort of see why he's had he's had the uh, the friendly Shah Future Four that's been able to deploy a couple of grid squares ahead, so they would have been able to get some eyes into whatever enemy vehicles were coming along this road, and then that'd give him sort of free farm um, with the the, the three round uh, auto loader uh, three three round 120 millimeter auto loader of this gun. So we see that the T110E5 is pushed up. It's now sitting on a bit. Uh, a bit over 1500 hit points that's still a probably a bit too much for the uh, for the doctor to be able to clip them out but he's also got the shaft future 4 and he's also got the awesome power of the uh the wz trip uh, one gft um in his clan mate old mate uh, also from the lebeau clan he has switched up to the heat rounds and that was probably a sensible choice under the circumstances even though he's shooting at the Capola of the T110E5, um, the Capola still has effectively 250 millimeters of armor. And he's got 252 millimeters of penetration on the standard APCR. So there's a probably a, a slightly less than 50% chance that uh, that is going to bounce. So to to get the to get the certainty of the the shots, to make the most of the the burst in that situation, uh, running the heat rounds was probably uh, a sensible choice under the circumstances. So we can see he's got the Waffentrager Alls from Panzer IV in front of him. Uh, he does have the heat shells loaded, probably a little bit too late uh, at this point in time to to change the load to something that runs a little bit cheaper. Um, but I guess I guess under the circumstances, looking at the team, they're they're nearly two thousand hit points down. So um, I guess every shot that's taken with supreme confidence is able to assist in leveling that score. And if we just just watch this, the the um, the lead the enemy has is now extended to about three thousand hit points. So we're very much validating decisions to stick with the uh, stick with the shells that give highest confidence of penetration. Uh, they're now trending towards sort of uh, 4,000 hit points, the difference. Um, fortunately, the enemy team appears to have about 1,700 hit points at, completely absent from the fight with this, uh, with this T-54, which um, uh, the Doctor is able to uh, take full advantage of and, and is able to uh, start knocking over a personal campaign mission, which we'll, uh, we'll get to a little bit later in the game. You can see the... Waffentrager Alls from Panzer IV has, uh, has turned up again and uh, they're able to proxy spot them and it appears he has company in the form of a Yag Tiger as well. So it, from that point of view, keeping the heat shells loaded, again, quite a sensible choice. Um, I did have a look at the old Tanks GG before we, uh, before we started recording um, just, just to assess some of the ammunition choices that, that were made along the way here by, uh, by the Doctor. And... Even though the APCR could could quite confidently go through the the Waffentrager and the Skoda T50, it wouldn't be able to go through the mantlet of the Yag Tiger. So, I guess you you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be uh, putting yourself in a situation where they're stuck in a two v three, and one of those tanks they can't penetrate with the uh, 
with the standard stuff and then and then just forming a view that oh well i just won't shoot at it um because the enemy isn't necessarily going to give you that choice so um I, th I think we can we can forgive some of the choices uh, that, that that were made here today, and look at that. He's been able to uh, put a, a fair bit of re repair bill into that uh, Yag Tiger, um, coupled with uh, with old mate. Um, it sounds so casual when I put it like that, but that is that's his that's his username. Um, Old mate finishes off the Waffentrager. We've just got the Skoda T50 that appears to have the uh, between the enemy vehicles. There appears to have the uh, the lion's share of the hit point pool. Uh, but of course, the three round auto loader of Emil Two is able to uh, account for that, and the doctor is able to take their second kill of the game. So the Yag Tiger is, uh, for whatever reason, decided to switch to high explosive rounds. Um, so that that being the case, it probably means old mate can deal can deal with that. Um, we've noticed an object 430U has been able to crash through the friendly lines um, and could be uh, could be moving to flank them at any point. Um, instead, it appears that the object 430U has chosen to cap. Um, now, this is going to be a bit of a dangerous scenario for uh, uh, for the doctor and their team because. I mean, we're, we're hardly dealing with a pack of gazelles here. We've got the VK7201K um, that still has two enemy vehicles it would need to push through just to get back to the cap circle. We've also... Um, uh, the, the Emil 2 is not, not the most agile vehicle, uh, but certainly a bit more agile than the wz one gft so the uh, the pressure really on for the doctor to, to sort of get back to cap um and that's uh, that's what he's going to do there's 50 seconds to do it so while we've uh, well we've got a bit of a race on um let's let's talk about let's talk about some of these ticks here so um he has picked up well he is working on uh, ht5 personal campaign mission for the the t55a his primary condition was to cause 3,000 hit points of damage to vehicles that were within his view range. Um, so you can't be red line sniping, um, so you do need to be able to be physically capable of seeing them. And he also has to destroy four enemy vehicles for the honest completion condition. So rounding the corner, we see the object 430U, bit of a snapshot there, but is able to send it home. Res rescue the cap with 14 seconds to spare and take his third kill of the game. So it's just one more kill that uh, the Doctor needs to get. Although there's there's only two enemy vehicles on the field and uh, let's say that the gun on the wz one GFT is a hungry beast. We know there's, there's still the Shah Future 4 in play. Hopefully the M53, M55 won't be uh, won't by won't be touched by any of the friendlies, and uh, and and that will satisfy the the honors condition for the doctor. Gets one shot. Can he land the second one in time? Yes, he does. And there we have it. Two ticks, and that's uh, completion with honors. HT5 for the T55A. So that's a well-deserved victory. Bit of a love tap there from my old mate. So. Uh, Let's take a look at the results. So very nicely done there by the doctor of the Lebeau clan. He's picked up a nice mastery badge for his efforts there. Uh, also a couple of these um, uh, Epic and Battle Heroes medals. We've got the Defender medal for reducing enemy cap points by seven or more. He was only sort of 14 seconds away from, uh, from losing that game with that Object 430U that had pushed through and was taking the cap. So very nicely done. And he's also picked up the High Caliber Medal for accounting for at least 20% of the hit point pool of the enemy team, uh, with over 6,500 damage inflicted on the enemy. So incredibly well done there. He's picked up the Fighter Medal for accounting for at least four kills upon the enemy team, which was also the Honors Condition for HT5 for the T55A, uh, knocking out the T54, who was uh, unfortunately for their team uh, away from keyboard. The Object 430U, the M53, M55, and the Skoda T50. Also picked up the Fire for Effect medal for doing at least his hit points in damage, which... <laughs> Having a look at the team scores. Um, very well played here. Uh, very well deserved top by XP placement here by the Doctor. Uh, closely followed by the VK7201K that uh, was causing quite a bit of carnage in its own right uh, on the opposing flank. And of course the Doctor's backup, Old Mate, also from the Lebeau clan. 
Um, having a look at the enemy team, I can see their their M60 had uh, had done quite a heavy swath of damage, had taken a few kills as well. Unfortunately, wasn't um, wasn't quite enough. We've also been uh, followed up by the Shah Future Four and Skoda T50 um, that um, did did quite well, but unfortunately were not able to uh, not able to seal the deal for their team this time around. Now, when you think about it, perhaps that away from keyboard T54 could have made uh, could have made a bit more of a difference had they been on the keyboard. But you know, sometimes you can't help these things. People get uh, called to dinner or else. Uh, uh, power outages happen. The internet happens. Um, it it happens. We we uh, doesn't mean we have to like it that way. Having a look at the detailed report. Um, this has just been a barely profitable game for uh, for the doctor here, and um, thanks in part mostly to uh, some battle payments um, that uh, I'm not quite sure if that was a personal reserve or a clan reserve from Lebeau, but um, we'll um, I'll leave that with him. Uh, I guess obviously fighting from um, from an initial position where they they were um, thousands and thousands of hit points down against the enemy. Uh, he really did have to make every shot count. He's been uh, slamming the heat through with its 300 millimeters of penetration. Um, and that's unfortunately, uh, un unfortunately for the doctor, there's there's been um, a bit of a doctor's bill here of, uh, of 87,000 credits. Um, but um, he, has, he has been able to secure victory for his team and knock over a, um, a personal campaign mission for the T-55A with honors in the process. So. Uh, very well done there to the Doctor of the Lebeau Clan. And if you've got a result that you'd like to share with the community, please reach out over Discord or follow me at any of the links below and we'll do our best to sort you out. In the meantime, take care out there.